Ooh, what's up everybody, and of course, welcome to another top 10 video from yours truly, The Scarender. And this video has actually taken quite some time to create. It's been hard actually deciding what is an underwhelming man, and how would I actually construct this list. So, um, with that said, I'm gonna leave a few disclaimers as always. You know, the first obvious one, this is, this, these are my opinions, they, they really don't matter so much today. And if you're on different opinion, then you know that is just wonderful. Uh, so have that in mind. Always have that in mind when it comes to these kind of lists, really. And the second one is that we have, of course, have to distinguish, you know, what makes a good Pokemon a tier and what makes a good Pokemon in the league format. Take, for example, a man such as Mamoswine, for example, who are in unused, are definitely more one of the more effective mods in the league format, mostly because of its dual typing. Um, that also goes for the likes of Cresselia, uh, Kubalion even, and of course the like of Mesprits might be actually be the best one, where it's definitely a mod that is suggested to be one of the weakest of the trio and definitely rare size and the likes of never used, but in league format it's definitely known to already be an effective mod, and it does really well with the likes of Stealth Rock and whatnot. So due to that we're gonna include Pokemon that are clearly uh, mods and you rarely see in the format, but they really have something to give away even though they are not the strongest they are Doing well easily in the format. So that is of course a disclaimer and without further ado We're actually gonna go over The 10 mods I've chosen. I should also pro of course say that you know while this is a top 10 It is not necessarily in this order these mods fall, fall around with and no Mega are included in this top 10, and it's mostly because I feel that they can actually represent a list on its own. So with all that said, these are the top 10 underappreciated Pokemon in Leaf format. Starting off the list is of course Stoutland, and you know, who would I be if I not included this? Now Stoutland has gotten some recognition, therefore I decided to actually not push it to you know the lowest of lowest. Um, but it's definitely still a man that is... Um, how do you say it's is it is somewhat bad good in uh, its representative smogons here really format this thing break things apart it has a large natural bulk with 85 of course in hp 90 in both defenses and of course base speed of 80 which is very very respectable and 110 in attack which is dangerous. It is really, really dangerous. Very few mods actually reach this kind of attack. And you would think that, you know, those stats alone would push it really, really well. It has the issue of being a normal type. Normal type means that it simply doesn't hold a candle to the likes of other stab moves because it doesn't really hit things super effectively. And the things it does hit super effectively is without a stab, of course. But what makes Stoutland stand tall is actually its three abilities all three being very very usable if you've been following me in league format you know exactly how to use them obviously sand rush the copy paste choice bandit set it's it's marvelous it's it's something that very very few well people can actually design against to survive and of course we're like of scrappy for the same reason the immunity for you know the normal bandit hits with scrappy ensures that you don't have a real switch in but of course, I like, of course, Intimidate 2, which is used, making Southland actually very, very prominent. As you guys already know, like I said, Southland has 90 base defenses. It means this guy gets extremely bulky, and with the likes of Thunder Wave and Great Stab and a very, very broad move pool, the likes of Crunch, Return, Superpower, Play Rough, uh, and so on, really, it can do really well in almost any team. Now, I should say this, this guy does become better with a team with sand uh, behind it because that means this man gets slightly more flexible and really really nascar -y. but outside of that it still can hold a candle really well because it simply is so hard to kill naturally this is probably one of the few mods that actually can take a close combat due to the intimidate and that is something that is very impressive in this kind of format coming in at number nine is magneton now, Magneton is a mod that usually people are known about but are forgotten due to Magnus Zone. Well, that shouldn't really be the case considering what, of course, Magneton represents. Magneton, of course, is faster than his big brother Zone, with, of course, a 70 base speed, which is not bad. Its defenses, while kind of lacking with the likes of 95 defenses, 
70 special defense, of course, really, really abysmal HP of 50. What Magneton is bringing is typing. It is so well rounded. It simply can take so many hits naturally. And then you got, of course, the likes of Sturdy, which is a great ability for it. Analytic, which boosts its special attack or special hits uh, with 50%. And did I say that special attack 1 in 20 base? Yeah. So you switch out on this or you go in slower, you are getting heavily punished. And of course, Magnapol. In League format, this is great because that means that other Steel types are locked with, it, with you. Now, a few Steel types can contradict this, sure, but usually they can't. And Magnacon can, of course, lock in the likes of Scissor or Skarmory, which are very, very effective mon in this kind of format. And being able to do just so means that Magneton is simply one of the best trappers in the format. It's, it is simple like that. Like I said, the Violet helps it a whole lot and you can use this guy with Scoff. Now, I should say, even with Scoff, that the base 70 does not beat 130 base, but it is still speedy enough to beat the things that matters. And yeah, with Analytic, you might just do that. So, I really, really like Magneton. The thing that's actually going against it, and that goes for Zone 2, actually, is that it simply isn't. Like, the stabs are not the best. Uh, steel and Electric, or they're decent, but uh, there are things that can wall it, such as, of course, the Steel uh, or the Water Ground type. Uh, but you always can access to the likes of Hidden Power, and in this format, you know what's going to be possibly walling you, and you always can solve Hidden Power, which means that Magneton just become more effective than it usually is in its original tier. Comment at number 8 is actually Braviary. Now, Braviary is definitely a forgotten mon for actually um, reasons that make sense. Staraptor. Like, Staraptor definitely are a better Braviary in all sense of purposes. Talonflame is really, really good. Actually, a lot of flying types that are physically inborn, such as Mega Pinsir even, um, just hit hard enough to make this guy forgotten. It is not that speedy, I do believe it's at 80 base, which is, it's fair, but it definitely ensures that it doesn't have speed. All the things that it should have done, of course. Uh, but, what the Bravery got is a massive attack set, 123. That is extremely dangerous. And of course, its defenses is not too bad. Uh, base 100 is not bad for HP. And then 75 in both defenses. And the thing that makes this guy a bit more worse, or actually good in my regard, is its abilities. Um, as most of you guys know, Intimidate is something that is really well used in this kind of format. To lock down, of course, a few months. You can't do that with Braviary because it's Defiant. Which means it's actually with you dropping its attack, it's actually gonna just raise it. And of course it has sheer force, because you know, why not? Why not let's ensure that this don't get an residual damage for life orb? And actually got a pretty decent move pool to pull that off with the likes of Rock Slide. And of course Crush Claw if you really really want to use that. Though I myself really like to just lock myself in return. Crush Claw is slightly stronger though I should say. And also Brave Bird. And of course I do believe that's superpower. Braviary simply is um, a, a more a weaker Staraptor. But it also is a mod that could use utilities, because it can bulk up. Because, you know, <laughs> why not? And it can defog, which means it can fill the multiple role. Now, defogging is never a primary thing you want to do with more stronger mods. But having access to it, yeah. It makes this mod a very, very flexible one. And definitely a mod we rarely see in this format. Considering what it could bring to a team, it is actually very surprising it isn't popular. Coming in at, of course, number 7 is the Gardevoir. I should say this before I even, you know, go forward with this. I was debating whether or not Gardevoir actually is an unappreciated mod or not. But it kind of is, actually. Um, it's actually a, a mod that does fairly well in its first seven tier, of course, being, of course, UU. And that's been staying there, but the thing was, when League format actually was transpiring, that... A few months got forgotten, obviously Guard of War was definitely one of them, because uh, Mega Guard of War was just that much better. So, being that Guard of War represented in you before, of course, Generation 6, it actually got forgotten, and it still kind of is, and it's definitely unappreciated for that reason alone. 
because it's not well used well or not used at all really. Um, its abilities, while not as impressive, have been of course the likes of Synchronize and Telepathy, but the ones to be in slightly better is of course the likes of Trace, which can actually steal your opponent's abilities. Like I said, that is not what makes this guy good. Or girl. Guy girl. Um, it is actually, it's typing. It's a fair typing. It's a fairy psychic even. Now fairies are a very very strong type in general, but very few of them are super effectively uh, or being just standalone really really strong. What makes Gardevoir really good is its insane special attack of 125. That hurts and has a really really large special defense of 115, being a bit on the slow side, which of course the likes of 80 base, which is like Brave Girl really, um, it's, it doesn't necessarily make it bad, it just ensures that our things are going to be able to outspeed it, which is why Guard Wars usually comes scoffed. Um, it isn't bulky enough to survive a hit, it, it does lack in that regard, outside of its special defense of course, but with Scarf you can ensure that you at least hurt hard, and you have of course a very very good, with of course the stabs in Bond, but also a really really broad move pool, and dual status, even triple status if you want to go that route, because it gets Will-O-Wisp and Thunder Wave, which makes this mod a very, very good uh, supporter if you want to have it like that. And it also gets Healing Wish. Yes, and Healing Wish is a very, very good move in the League format. Since you can save a Pokemon that are a winning condition, if it gets walled out or destroyed early in the game, you can recover that back on. And that is something that is really appreciated, like I said, in this format. And Gardevoir with Scarf becomes just that effective. It simply becomes that effective. I like Gardevoir. I use it in, I do believe, two seasons in different leagues and have had really, really good success with it. It's not because it necessarily is the bulk of mods, but it's hard to deal with properly. And with this broad move pool and its high special attack, it really, really hurts to switch into. So if you use this guy well, you're really very likely of being extremely successful in any league, really. Coming at number 6 though, is a mod that uh, I have a mixed feeling about. Um, I think it's one of the best grass types in the format. Without a doubt, Tangrove is up there. It is simply one of the best. I myself, having a hard time using it, and when I face it, I have a hard time defeating it. And that's the thing. Tangrove is just an extremely annoying mod to be dealing with. It has a really high attack, of course, 100, has a high attack, regular attack of 100, high special or defenses being, of course, of 125, special attack also high, which means this guy could be a potential mixed attacker, which I hate. Um, and of course, special defense, while not, while really shabby, actually, together with a speed of 50, it can be solved due to its ability, of course, regenerator, and of course, the axis of assault vest. Tangrove is an extremely good Assault Vest user, and is probably one of the few mods that doesn't really mind staying against a possible war type with, of course, ice attacks, because it can soak it and retaliate. Uh, Tangrove is a mod that if you can't one it or two it kill it properly, it's just gonna keep on coming back, and this is a mod you don't want to come back, you really want this thing dead, because with its resistances, it simply can take on so many things. I really, really, like I said, hate Tangrove. Uh, it just is such a good move pull on it too. It has Sleep Powder, which is always nice. But also Giga Rain, Knock Off, Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast, Earthquake. The list keeps going. Rock Slide. Uh, has, and of course, in power to utilize, of course, potential weaknesses. You can plan well with Tangrove because it's a jack of all trades. Like I said, while it's a bit on the slow side, it doesn't necessarily matter when you don't die in the first place. And of course, with that natural regenerator, you can keep coming back. And of course, it actually got chlorophyll, and I faced one once, I, I just stressed it enough, that had, of course, chlorophyll and growth, and my life was simply hell. Sangrove uh, is one of those mods, like I said, it's a jack of all trades. I do believe that RU is, does doing, is not doing it justice when it comes to Smogon tier. When it comes to League format, this one is a top class grass type. Um, it's so hard to deal with properly, and um, you really need to plan well to be even able to actually start denting this guy. Because if you don't have a plan for it, it's gonna win. It's simply gonna win the game, because if you can't kill it, then you are probably the one that's gonna die, right? 
And at number 5, we actually have our second normal type of this list, Kangaskhan. Now, Kangaskhan is a mod that you don't see, really see, ever see in Leaf format. And it's definitely untested, I've seen a few people use it. And what makes this guy so goddamn dangerous is the likes of its stats for the first place and of course Scrappy. Can we just mention Scrappy first? I feel like that's the most important part. It has two other abilities, being Inner Focus and of course Early Bird. Inner Focus is actually kind of nice too, being only able to survive, of course, the likes of Fake Outs and Retaliate in return. But also Scrappy to hit, of course, those pesky normal types. This is the guy, this is the guy that could just utilize itself so well. Double Edge hurts so much because 95 in attack says one thing, Double Edge is making you ditch. And of course with those mixed defenses of 80 base and 105 in of course uh, HP, this thing, guy, girl, monster, kangaroo, I don't know, survives far, far too long. And what makes this guy just above your average normal type is its speed. This guy is not only a primary revenge killer with his dual priority, it also has 90 base speed, which is more than enough for most mods, and of course for possible switchings against this guy, there are really not too many of those. Take Law Pony for example, Mega Law Pony, it has of course the likes of a dual stab which of course hits ghost types and of course, you know, dual blade which is always an issue. Kangaskhan has the same kind of issue without of course the stab, and now obviously uh, it's unfair to compare them due to that reason, but they are having similarities. But like I said, the things that go with Kangaskhan is the dual priority of Fake Out Sucker Punch. It is simply more than enough for most team. You can whittle down mods really, really easily. Like I said, with Knight of Five, and of course, Stab Fake Out hurts a lot. And combine that with, of course, the like of Double Edge and possible Drain Punch or Superpower if you so good desire. This guy simply has the best and easiest move pool to do well in Lee format. Now, it's not as well used, and it's for obvious reasons. Normal types are in general not a good Lee format, due to reason I mentioned, of course, the likes of Stoutland. But with all that said, Kangaskhan is probably one of the best ones that is actually never used. And yeah, I firmly believe Kangaskhan deserves a little, little bit of love, and Lee format should be where it should get it. At the fourth spot, we actually have a mod that I really, really, really like, Drapion. Now, Drapion is a mod that, I will say this, I don't see it often. I don't know why I don't see it often, because Drapion is, oh, I'm trying to find the most wonderful word here. It's a fast poison type. You know what that means? It means it got all of the stuff for fairies. This guy kills. It's a freaking fairy killer. And it has very, very good abilities like battle armor. This is natural bulky 1 in 10 in, of course, his defenses. 75 in special defense and 70 in, of course, HP. Not as impressive, actually. But it can take a hit. Obviously, it doesn't take resisted damage from fighting and, of course, uh, uh, fair moves due to its dark typing, but that's the thing. Stab knockoff and stab pursuit. Drapion fills so many roles so easily. It has the likes of agility, sword stance, which makes it even better. And it's already speedy, 95 by speed. Like I said, that's speed enough for actually killing any, any fairy. And of course, knight in attack, while not the highest, is more than enough in this kind of format. And yeah, it actually acts as toxic spikes even, so it can be a supportive set. And um, yeah, what else can I say? It gets freaking Aqua Tails, not even ground types are standing stand against this guy. Uh, it's simply it's a jack of all trade mods too. Um, I'm trying to like oversell it here, but I really, really like Drapion, and I'm being very, very biased when it comes to it. I myself actually really like to use Sniper with Scope Lens. And just go for agility and just have the you know the time of a life with cross poison night slash and of course the likes of earthquake to fill the void or aqua tail it's it's a marvel to use and in leaf format drapion simply solves a lot of things for most teams now it isn't the ideal poison type that does resist like i said those stabs of fairy and fighting but at the same time it's not the weak ass dark type you are weak to those kind of moves either 
it actually hits its neutral, which means that this is a very, very balanced mount and it works against almost any team, really. So, Drapion, you are the real MVP. Now we're coming in, of course, to the top three. And, of course, number three is Shift Tree. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? But, yeah, <laughs> Shift Tree is definitely a mount I feel is, well, mostly forgotten. And, um, you know, it is for obvious reason. Uh, grass type, not really the best kind of typing when it comes to defensively. Dark type, not the best one when it comes to defensively. It's it's very true that Shift Tree has, as a defensive mechanism, has a lot of things not going for it. And uh, it actually is very, very, very frail. While I have is actually a high uh, HP stat of 90, that's actually well very respectable. It does have a very, very bad defensive stat of 60 in both, which is... Yeah, you know, bad is um, it's pretty much wrapping it up, but yeah, uh, it has a few things going for it. Very high attack, one or base, and of course, special attack of 90, not bad. And of course, it has priority in Sucker Punch, it has Chlorophyll, one of the primary abilities when it comes to weather teams, combined with Growth, which makes this guy a very, very good special oriented or mixed hitter. And of course, it has a nasty plot of sword dance if you don't want to rely on the likes of weather. And like I said, chlorophyll is awesome. It also has pickpocket, which ensures you can go for normal gem fake out and actually steal items. That's that's nice. Yeah, so it has also fake out, which wow, you know, this thing just solves things for you. And it actually has a few other things going for it. One of them actually being it has defog. I mean, for a mon that obviously is not supposed to defog, it's nice, such as, like I said about Braviary, it's, not, it's nice being able to pull that off. And outside of that, it actually has a very, very respectable move pool. You, we have Low Kick on it, uh, we have, of course, the likes of Icy Wind, and I say Icy Wind for some reason, if anything, and of course, Explosion. So this guy, very, very good mixed attacker, very good in, of course, likes of Weather, and also can be extremely annoying and very good supportive. Like I said, they're dark grass, not the best defensive typing. Best offensive typing? This thing just kicks it out of the park. If you can't outspeed it, then you are in trouble. And that's why we love Shift Tree, and that's why it's number three on this list. At number two, we have Sharpedo. Uh, Sharpedo is definitely a mon I see from time to time, but usually it is forgotten, or the people that are using it are really not accustomed to what this guy is naturally bringing. Now, what does Sharpedo do best? Hit stuff. A lot. It has speed boost naturally. Speed boost is the only thing you want to go for. Rough skin can kick itself between its legs because that's 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 not what you want. That is simply not what you want. But speed boost, and of course with the likes of 95 base speed, yes. Yes, please even. Yes, please. You ensure yourself that you really really start hurting stuff and we're not going to talk about the defenses more than necessary mag punch kills this guy uh, with of course likes of 40 in both defenses and 70 in hp yeah it's it's really frail it is designed to be frail it is supposed to be that and of course it has what's gonna matter here of course very very good mixed offenses 120 in attack yes and of course, 95 in, of course, special attack. My god, this guy can do stuff. And it can do stuff easily. Like I said, with speed boost, you are now flexible enough to deal with whatever is in front of you. And it's dual stab of, of course, dark water. A very, very good and mighty combination. And then you get the likes of Ice Fang if you want to be a filler move. Or, you know, <laughs> I guess, uh, Poison Fang if you want to go that route. But no, no, hardly unlikely. The thing you want to go afterwards is either the fillers, and the fillers are depending on the league format of course, but you want to design to anything that could come in against you to be able to do something about it. So for example, the likes of Earthquake would solve the likes of Electric type. If you have an issue with Grass type, you maybe want to go with more uh, offensive or special, special oriented and go for Ice Beam, because this guy can pull it off. This guy simply can pull it off. It is so nice. I really, really, really like Sharpedo, and I think it's definitely one of the more underwhelming Pokemon um, when it comes to this kind of format, because it is, or underappreciated, of course. 
uh, because it simply can do so many things, but people aren't using it because they feel it's too frail to do well. And I'm here to tell you that if you solve that riddle, you will solve a lot of your upcoming battles. And coming in at number one is actually Neuvern. Huh. Why is that? Neuvern. No demand that are by default extremely weak, not really that bulky, and just overall, it's an underwhelming dragon flying type. It's probably one of the worst, you know, introduced together with Gudra. It is those two dragons that people are simply saying are not the best, or they are really, really, really limited to what they can do. I am here to tell you that Neuvern might actually be one of the more effective dragon types in this kind of format. You want to know why? 123 base speed frisk. Yes, it also gets the likes of Evil Trader and Telepathy, which is uh, Evil Trader is kind of nice actually. But frisk and the likes of being fast and has always specs because you want specs on Neuvern. Frisk and specs and trick or switcheroo. Nice, awesome. Finally, Neuvern simply is one of those mods that, with its really really high speed can come in and revenge kill most things and with a very very strong stab move with Borbine Hurricane and of course Draco which being the one I would probably prefer it can hurt stuff. 97 base special attack while not as impressive it is more than enough for most things and we have U-turn it can learn flamethrower it actually gets solar beam if you want to take that route which I kind of like so power herb solar beam yay but yeah no <laughs> It also is a good anti-leeward like of Taunt, it gets Super Fang, it gets Roost. So it's a mod that can do really, 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 really well. And like I said, it's one of its main perks is that it can come in and revenge kill stuff because it's so speedy. There's very few that actually are able to outspeed it and revenge in your return. Unless, of course, you have a priority move such as an Ice Shard. You are not taking this guy on simply. You are definitely going to get hurt in that process. It even gets Boom Burst if you want to go that route. It's... It's a mom that simply jack of all trades, heat wave, focus blast, you name it. Um, it has such a weird ass move pool that I can't really stress enough how effective this guy can be. Uh, I've seen few people use this with choice band, even of course with the likes of Outrage and uh, Sky Attack, and you know that that's dangerous and funny and <laughs> kind of love it. It also gets Tailwind. So this guy is a very very good mixed mon. It can be a jack of all trades, such as of course Tangrowth and Drapion, which makes them underwhelming in the tier, but makes them effective in league format. Neuvern has that essence going for it, but being more physically involved. Therefore, I do believe Neuvern is definitely one of the most underappreciated Pokemon in this kind of format, because people are searching so hard for that hard-hitting dragon, that they forget that they can have a dragon that is far more superior, that can survive, that can revenge kill, and eventually become one of the better mon in the end of the game. Neuvern is one of those mon, hits hard, it's fast enough, can use specs well, it is simply a marvel to use. And that is why it is my pick of my top 1 mon that are underappreciated in a Pokemon League format. So what do you guys think? Like I said here, it's a very, very lengthy video, and I'm sorry about that. I think we're kicking in in 30 minutes. But uh, this one was actually really, really hard to record and keep, you know, to a very, very low amount of time. And uh, I will say this. If you guys are of a different opinion, make sure to write it in the comment section, because I do like to see what you guys are liking. There are mods here, which are you know, obviously honorable mention. Dragon and Sand Slash are definitely on that list. But they didn't, didn't make it. I feel they're really good, but simply not, uh, they simply didn't make the cut. And uh, if you guys want to see a top 10 uh, underappreciated, of course, Mega Pokemon in League format, make sure to leave a like or, you know, say that in the comment section if you want to see that. And I um, start with that project right away. This video actually took me, it's actually like a three months in the making. Uh, it was very hard deciding on which 10 mods that actually deserve a spot on this list. But I, I'm, I'm satisfied with the results. Um, and like I said also, it's while it's a top 10, it doesn't necessarily matter that um, you know these individual mods are in this kind of order. Uh, they are definitely, in my regard, very, very good mods. 
doesn't necessarily giving them a number makes them more effectively. It, it, it doesn't really work like that. But I do believe that Neuvern is definitely like the big deal for me. I think it's that's a mon that I rarely see draft or drafted. And uh, when I see it drafted, it usually sucks because the people using it, I have no idea what they're doing. Um, so yeah, I kind of thought I was, you know, get it out of the way. Uh, also, I should say, if you are interested in more in league-oriented kind of um, uploads from analytic analysis and stuff like that, make sure to check out Kelly or Under the Radar, who does a series about this, how to use Simple Mon and, you know, rating them. Very, very good guy, uh, awesome content, and I really, really would encourage you guys to check that out. So, anyway, with all that said, make sure to leave, of course, a comment, like, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you stay for all these minutes, then wow! Awesome. That is like one half of the hour of the day that you will not get back. So I hope this was worth this time. Uh, so with all that said, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.